Hello and welcome to the first and quite possibly last video I'm ever going to make using a mic. I've had so much trouble actually trying to get a mic to work and actually use a mic while recording a video. It's just unbelievable. I can record video fine. It just it just wouldn't let me record the microphone as well. So I just end up speaking to myself for literally no reason. But yeah, and the biggest problem I had was actually turning on the mic button on my headset. That seemed to be. So even after spending half an hour trying to get the video to record my mic, finally succeeding and so now I can do it in the most annoying way humanly possible. Um, I am after spending the time recording the video. It just didn't work. Because I forgot to put a switch. So yeah, um, that's probably going to sum up the quality of this video and any other videos I make. I just spent all this time speaking to myself for no reason. Um, yeah. But anyway, um, this isn't the video I was going to make. I spent a fair few weeks now actually planning and thinking exactly what I was going to do, what I was going to record, how I was going to do it. And then when I finally came to actually do the video today, yes, I know it's been too good in my time, I finally decided to make a video and actually speak through it, then my video recording software went, no, this game, you didn't have this game, the game doesn't exist, it's not there sitting right there in my Steam library with all the other games. So this is the backup plan, and for those of you who don't know, this is Just Cause 2, which is probably one of my, probably one of my favourite games of all time at least in the PC, because it is just so amazing. I mean, you know, for those, for those of you who just want your money worth in game, in, you know, when buying the game, I was going to buy, you know, you don't want to spend 25 in the game, you know, spend a few hours to be in game and never play it again. This costs me £14 in Steam, and I've been playing it for almost 80 hours now, and I'm only 51% of the way through. That is how much content is actually in this game. Um, well, if you want an example, let's just look at the map. This is the whole area you can play in, all of the little islands you can go to. Um, I've never actually tried to go out to sea, just because um, you'll probably be able to go several miles before hitting an invisible wall. Or, um, wow, it it's pretty big. It's bigger than any other open world game I've ever played. Um, I think that's actually including multiplayer. I think this is actually bigger than... Because I've played Pirates of the Caribbean online. I think this, this is actually bigger than... Bigger than that. Well, it's actually got a lot, a lot more content in. Um, well, this... If you don't know, f some background, it's a lot like any of the GTA games, except uh, 56,000 times better. I'm not, I'm not insulting, you know, or disrespecting any of the um, GTA games. I've played some of them. This is a lot better because this game is just amazing. It is, okay, in summary, it's probably the best action film you've ever played. It is as so though Michael Bay sat down one time and went, you know what, I'm just going to build a game today and it's just going to have the best explosions in any game ever. And also the best water. Because this game is, has some pretty da nice graphics. And it is 2010, so it's the same year as Black Ops and well, obviously quite a few other games. But And I'm, I'm running on... Probably not the highest graphic settings, but pretty high. Um, and my laptop's doing okay. Um, and you get some lag with it. And yeah, it's pretty damn nice. Um, well, if you want a comparison to any other games, um, 
this half of this this is probably this this is the second small second biggest island so um this bit of this island as you can see marked off by the river that is roughly the same size as the entire map of san andreas and you get all of this to play in and explore it is absolutely massive there was so much stuff in here um there was pretty much every single biome um because you get everything from mountains and snow to swamps forests large cities and then obviously the, the sea is that uh, it's absolutely amazing and fantastic and then you've got all of these literally hundreds and hundreds of settlements and when you first start every single one is unexplored and it's just got the yellow dot and as you can see, I've almost been playing 80 hours and I haven't even been let alone completed all of these areas and well the amount of vehicles you can get in this game is absolutely amazing um, because well you can get the DLC which lets you unlock um, a few more vehicles which you can actually buy from the trader um, there's over a, I think it's about 110 vehicles and because you get the standard one you know like taxis on the road and then you, you get you get helicopters, boats, planes, all of that um, and there's well, the achievement to get kind of every single unique vehicle and there are, there are vehicles and that hidden away in only certain locations and wow it is just amazing right I'm currently just flying around aimlessly just I was going to shoot you the ball there And oh no, I seem to be falling to my being able to be there. What can I possibly do with unlimited parachutes? Okay, yep. This game has probably the best underwater graphics I've ever uh, pretty much. Any in any other game, um, they've actually really, really bothered to do all of it. I mean, it's not just flat sand or with just random stones in. It's not just you know copied. It's really, really well done, and the water is amazing. And wow, and I don't really know what to say. Okay, best action film you've ever played. First off. You have a grappling hook in your arm, which is quite possibly the best tool I've actually ever been given in a game. Because not only does it give you, not only that and your limited parachutes give you the best way to walk around to get anywhere, you know. Oh no, I just drove my car off a cliff. What am I going to do? Well, first off, you can use your grappling hook to get up pretty much anywhere. The only limitation to the grappling hook is distance. So, you know, there are skyscrapers, mountains in, in this game. It's hard to get to places. You know, just just grapple up there. It's really easy. Second of all, you know, that unlimited power shoots get anywhere. Cover, you know, large distances. You know, you can go between mountains. It's, it's really amazing. Um, well, with the grappling hook, you can also just latch onto vehicles. And then... You, when you latch on the vehicles, it automatically goes to stunt jump. Which is... Just a few stunts on the roof. From there you can shoot, you can jump onto other vehicles. You can... Um, you just um, use your lapel and then anywhere else, like in range. Also with the grappling hook, you can also tie vehicles together. Tie people to vehicles. Tie, tie vehicles to floor. Um, which is pretty funny if you just want to mess around and you just happen to be in an airport. Just stand up on the plane and then try to plane to the ground and it just spins off out of control. It's just going to explode. I think it's um, yeah, so yeah, I'm showing off this as an action game, just trying to get in the slowest boat possible. 
Probably not such a good idea. Also, um, the weapons in this game, there are a fair amount of weapons. Um, there's not there's not much of you know if, if you're into realism there's not there's not just there's not just AKs and you know that sort of thing there's not individual weapons there's the revolver the pistol the shotgun the sawn off and so you know some people might find that a problem um, not really because throughout this world throughout the entire map there's vehicle upgrades and weapon upgrades and when you find these boxes you can call the trader in and then you can upgrade all the weapons available so you can start off with the pistol and you know has really crappy stats it takes about a billion bullets to kill anyone and then you upgrade it and it becomes a lot more powerful holds a lot more that kind of thing so rather than having having a whole range of different guns which have different stats and then you have to pick and choose the best one you just upgrade you can, yeah, just find boxes and upgrade the weapons you already have, and then you can already pick one. So, in that sense, it's a lot like a lot of the older games. Rather than having a large variety of weapons, you just upgrade the ones you have access to. So, you know, pro or con, you decide. That actually just makes it easy to use because you can just upgrade a weapon and then just buy it from the trader, and then there you have it. And rather than searching for ages and ages for certain guns. That kind of thing. Okay, um, this has just been a test of, pretty much just been a software test on the video capturing and also my microphone. Can that actually see? It, first of all, if it's actually recorded this time, what it sounds like, and actually the quality of the video. So, um, I hope this hasn't been too terrible and. If it is good and if I actually, oh I like that car, I actually have been able to successfully record audio and video, god forbid, then I'm on my way, then hopefully um, I should do another video soon.